The island of Murano on the Venetian lagoon is not just known for glass, it's become notorious for it, most visibly in the tacky knickknacks that lure the tourists. But the garish trinkets do little justice to the century-old artistry that still burns bright in the cluster of devoted and pioneering glass-making studios. Carlo Moretti, founded in 1958 by brothers Carlo and Giovanni Moretti, has garnered an international reputation over the years, combining contemporary Italian design sensibilities with hallowed glassmaking traditions preserved on this island of glass. There is a strange connection between the water and the fire, and the synergy that you have in Murano. The island of the fire to melt the glass, the island for the water for the cooling of the glass. It's incredible. As one of the last artisan factories left in Murano, Carlo Moretti is always experimenting with shapes and materials. Here, technical innovation is married with the manual craftsmanship of their master glass blowers. The team in their hot shop work together intuitively, much like a finely tuned orchestra. With a lot of training, each musician can be a nice musician, but maybe only one become the first violin. It's the same with the Murano glass. With a lot of training, a lot of power, with the right masters, you can become a good co-worker for the Murano glass, but you need to have the talent, the DNA, to become a master. This is not so easy. And for such a specialist craft such as this, nurturing a new generation of talent is essential to ensure Murano's future as more than just a museum to a lost craft. This is the fundamental situation that we need for the future, the training for the young guys. But not only the training, we need to involve the young for the story for the Murano glass. The story with the long-term vision. Blowing new life into Murano glassmaking is a collective of seven international creatives from different disciplines who go by the name of Breaking the Mold. And true to their name, their mission is to crack open traditional techniques and excavate them for contemporary design possibilities. They formed a unique partnership with heritage firm Salviati, which is providing exclusive access to centuries of know-how for breaking the mold's cauldron of ideas. The project is an experimental approach to something that is very traditional, very traditional techniques of glassmaking. And what is interesting for us is the innovative approach and the idea is that we want to respect the legacy of the Murano glass, but also we want to introduce some levels of, of novelty and innovation. Salviati appreciate what new blood can contribute to their future, so they've opened up their archives, dating back to the firm's origins way back in 1850, to this troupe of designers. I feel very privileged every time I walk in this place. I can witness the production and I can witness all this stratification of history and knowledge that is still manifesting itself today. It's very valuable because you can see somehow through the drawing the way different personalities have interpreted glass. And also you can see the technical difficulties behind such material that is so fragile but it's also quite heavy and can be treated and worked and tooled in very, very many different ways. Probably the younger generation is more involved and in passion on the, I think, the handcraft because they understand that, that there is a big value on it. The big, big result and the big, big uh, surprise that they have uh, is linked to the people in the factory because when they understand that it's possible to cross another, another way to do it, that's open the mind and give us the possibility to go ahead. It's a new, a new story, it's a new story. It can be a really good story. Formulating modern strategies that honor traditions without being bound to them is key to reinvigorating the glassmaking community on the island that has, in recent years, struggled to survive. And working with new talent who find novel ways of working with this fragile but palpable material is an alchemy well worth investing in. Glass is always beautiful to look at, and it is relevant. I think it should feel more contemporary, and it could feel more contemporary. And this is probably the challenge that we are trying to face here today with 
this project, Breaking the Mold, and with this company, Salviati. And there is many, many things that could be explored in terms of colour, textures, shapes, uh, ways of working with glass, just thinking outside the box. Because it's a very old material, so it, it is difficult to think differently about it. Breaking the Mold, maybe is the answer, fingers crossed. In Murano, for Monocle, I'm Jolene Tobias.